Hey everyone, so we're going to take a look at Ethereum today and after the crypto rally that we've had in the last couple of weeks, we're going to take a look at the first point of resistance for where we think Ethereum may stall out in price. We're going to take a look at the immediate levels both above us and below us so we are ready for the market if it decides to go in either direction. So if Ethereum continues to pump higher, we are ready for those and we know what levels to look out for. And then below us, if we correct or dump to the downside, then we are ready for those as well. Ethereum, which is my second favorite uh, crypto and second largest holding behind Bitcoin, is essentially just been trading up and to the right, which is exactly what you want to see in a bull market. And if we just drop this down to the weekly, you know, you can't deny that we are creating higher highs and higher lows, which is what you want to see. You want to see the market move in this direction. That's great. But, uh, you know, my contention is with Bitcoin, which will lead the market and typically drag prices down for the rest of the other coins and all the other assets in the spaces. I am weary and cautious that you know uh, we might not be moving higher into new all-time highs this year and maybe a more likely scenario is to move to the downside so i am keeping an eye on that but for the time being you know i cannot deny that we're creating that market structure like we talked about and if we have a look at the uh, ema 21 which is a key moving average on you know all the major time frames you can see on the monthly that we've been holding this really nicely over here at about 22 23 2400 dollars so we are definitely creating that um that level of support on the monthly time frame which is good if for some reason we start to drop below this level okay then we can start to look for lower targets and potentially at least challenging or taking out some of these lows at 1600 but whilst we are up here at about 34 3500 i think that uh, we are looking good so we've got our, uh, our bullish bias for the time being. We can only trade the levels that we've got in front of us. But if we look at the 37 to 4,000 area above us, it's most likely the area that we're going to stall. And you have to remember that we have already made a 40% move in the space of about two weeks. So there are going to be some profit-taking events and going to be some corrections along the way, even if we do move higher. Okay. And the reason that I'm looking at this area is... We've got an order block here, first of all, just over here, this area of price action where we broke down from, it was the down candle, okay, that broke the market structure. And we've got this area of price uh, action over here, which we have not tested. So I would expect us to, you know, push, uh, push up over the next couple of days or week or so, another like 10% or so. I wouldn't be so surprised at that and tag this level um, before seeing any kind of correction. So I don't think now is the time to be, um, certainly not a bit too early for me to be you know, taking any shorts. And also if you look left, you can see these major spikes as well that we've had where we've dumped from in the past, just below or at that 4,000 level. So this area is a big level that I'm looking out for. And then also if we drop out our VPVR as well, we can see that we've got our low volume block at 37,000. And if we just take out these yellow bars, what is at that 37,000 level exactly? You can see it's the up candle before the down move that broke market structure. So definitely this is an area that I am looking out for for our first stall. Now, I'm not sure if we even get above this, okay? But um, what you would want to see uh, for Ethereum over here to look um, you know, pretty bullish um, is you know, move past this level and then move into the next low volume area and start challenging some of these order blocks and the, these highs up here and then come down and retest. That would be the most bullish scenario that I could see. Or if we do not start tagging some of these um, you know, higher resistance levels immediately, if we do get rejected at 37, what you're looking for is you want us to catch support at somewhere around the 3200 mark and then start springing higher and creating that market structure of higher, um, higher highs and higher lows. So that's essentially what we're looking for on Ethereum to the upside. But my, my, um, 
My primary count is going to be that we at least see some sort of stall or correction here and then potentially some sort of move down. And remember that moves to the upside, even in a bear market when we're in a severe downtrend, okay? Um, can be very violent and you can get moves of upwards of 50, 60, 70, 80%, especially the lower down you go in market cap from Bitcoin. If we bring out our Fibonacci retracement tool, you can see that this order block of price action that we've just spoken about um, between $3,700 and $4,000 is also exactly within the 0.5 to 0.618 region. So I wouldn't be surprised for this to get tagged and for this to be the real area of resistance. When we've made a 40% move to the upside, I do want you to just be aware that you know that's a very quick and violent move and people are likely to be taking profits and where they also are likely to be taking profits, not only at these you know, resistance zones that we've marked out before, but um, you know, again, you've got these key fibs which are coming into play as well. And I just wanted to just drop it down to the weekly as well. If we drop it down to the weekly, you can see that our weekly closes, okay, in the past, uh, when we've got to this key level over here, and we've had a close at just, just under $4,000 at 3,900, okay, um, that if we were to get there again, that would be in that support band. So yeah, just look for this to be um, you know, a, a, an area that's probably gonna push Ethereum down at least in the short term if we don't move higher immediately. Similar to a lot of other assets at the moment and looking at Bitcoin is we are at the 200 day moving average as well, which is quite interesting. Uh, we are sort of slightly stalling out at the moment, but I don't think that this is going to be, um, like I said, as important as some of the other factors. Usually when you get um, I know I keep going on about order blocks, but usually when you get order blocks that are untested and you're pretty close to them, you nearly always test them, okay? So like I said, this is why I'm looking at that level. Interestingly enough as well, we might end up forming, okay, some sort of head and shoulders pattern if we do reach this level, okay, and then start to dump back down. So like I said, these are just structures and things that I want you to be aware of to the upside. But, you know, if we can start to push higher above into that fourth, thousand level okay and we get some really massive surge um into uh into those higher prices and we can consolidate there then i do think that that would uh you know start to make you think that we might be moving higher here and potentially move into all-time highs but we need to overcome this level first as we're about halfway through the video you know what to do drop me down a like below that helps the video get shared and spread to the right people shows your love for me helps the youtube algorithm and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you have not already, because you wanna keep up to date with these time sensitive videos. So let's crack on. Dropping this down to the lower time frame on the four hours, what we can see is that, uh, you know, our first level of real support is gonna be somewhere here at about 3190 to about 3100, which is the area that we broke out from. So if we do see a shorter term correction before we move into those zones, then I'm looking for us to potentially take uh, a bounce from here and then move higher if we don't move up there straight away. And then obviously below that, we've got some key levels of you know support resistance over here at about uh, 2,800, okay, if we were to continue lower and then bounce higher, which is always a possibility. But you know, I think when you start to break from these key levels, especially looking at the market structure of Bitcoin, which is leading the market at the moment, I think what you would like to see is to just hang around and sustain at these areas before moving lower and then moving higher, because um, I think Bitcoin is gonna be king and gonna be the one to follow um, where the direction of the market is headed next. Now, at what point does a correction become something to be a little bit more concerned about? And for me, that would be losing this first level of support at 2,500. If we capitulate and fall all the way down here, can okay, we start taking out this? Now we're starting to take out you know, some of these higher lows that could be created and the market structure then becomes a little bit more of a bias to move lower. And that could just be, you know, one big bear flag that we had created before that big last final dump that, uh, you know, I think might be on the horizon this year. Like I said, I'm staying on both sides of the market so that I'm prepared. But 
that's what I'd be looking for. And of course, um, if you start to take out these lows, then I would expect us to challenge 2200. But I think if we do come back down to about 2200, I would expect us to take out this low and start to challenge um, down to the um, down to the next level, which is the range low of the entire year last year at about 1800. So yeah, that's essentially what I'd be looking out for on Ethereum. So to be clear, I do think that the bias is to the upside, but I do think that the upside here is limited, bearing in mind that we've made a 40% move up already. And, you know, I think that we can definitely push up another 10, 15% or so and move into this, you know, upper uh, 3000 area, 4000 area potentially, which again is about that 0.618. And we've got those levels down below us at these key order blocks uh, at about 3100 and another one at about 2800 down here. And then if we do start to take out 2500, then that leaves us um, with a bit more of a conviction that this is not just a correction, but we're now starting to point down lower because the market structure is changing into lower highs and lower lows, which, uh, you know, again, might result in us uh, taking out or at least challenging this 2200 area. Now, I think Ethereum Bitcoin probably gives us as much, if not more information about the momentum and where the price might go for ETH um, USD value, because at the minute, what we have been doing is in this sort of, um, in this range and consolidation pattern, um, where we are at the minute and you know we've essentially been uptrending and bouncing off this lower trend line that we can see over here pretty nicely and i think that if we do get a push up just look for resistance at this horizontal um level over here where we've seen rejections from um price in the past and support so that's going to be a key area of some low volume and you can see if you look even further left in in the past is that this is an area again that's been you know very very important so if we move up to that 0 0.78 level you know don't be surprised if we get some sort of pullback especially if we move there sort of fairly quickly in the next day or so okay um and if we do get a move down here and we start to retest, retest sorry the trend line for a fourth time, I do think there is a good chance it might break because if we, um, you know, the things that we've spoken about before about touching areas of uh, horizontal support resistance or trend line for a fourth time, they do tend to break. So that's usually my bias when I see these patterns forming out. And if I just get rid of some of these yellow drawings to clean up the chart, you know, if we do break down below here, I think the first level of, um, you know, support that would probably catch would be down here at about 0 0.58, 0 0.55 towards the range lows of this consolidation pattern. Definitely an area that I'd be looking out for. But if we do break down from here, we do have an untested order block, okay? Somewhere in this massive um, yellow box that I'm marking out with a massive X over here between 0 0.44 and 0. 0, 03 and cleaning up the chart if we look at this area as well it's also been an area that we've been uptrending and bouncing from really nicely over the macro um you know period that uh, ethereum has been moving up since you know september 2019 so this is definitely an area that i'm looking for potential longs in the long term should we move any lower and you can see as well look where we're getting these massive spikes of um, support resistance that we can use as support okay if we come down here that we've basically sold off from in before okay so it'd be really nice to see this area tested okay for continuation to move to the upside if we were to move down sometime in the later part of this year now all that might be invalidated, okay? And what would change my mind for that would be a weekly close, okay, above this level and above this level over here. So if we can close anywhere above the 0 0.85 or 0 0.086 level, okay, which is really drawing the line in the sand, you know, basically where the high was before, then that definitely gives us uh, an opportunity to potentially move up higher and challenge some of these highs that we've made over here um, back in uh, January 2018, 0 0.12, which would represent an upside from the moment of about, you know, 67, 70%. But 
for the moment. So long as we're in this range, we just want to wait for the market to show us what it's going to do. So we're going to basically wait to see if we basically reject from this yellow line over here that we've marked out, which is going to be key resistance at 0 0.078. And if we move any lower and break that trend line, then I would expect us to test the range lows and probably most likely this massive untested order block that we broke out from, you know, about exactly one year ago. So yeah, that's the areas that we want to look out for on Ethereum. So I hope you got some value from that video and you're managing to stay one step ahead of the market. And the way that you do that is by looking at both scenarios, both to the upside and to the downside so that you're prepared for both. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already so you can keep up to date with these daily and weekly videos that I put out. They're very time sensitive. And until the next video, I'll catch you next time.